Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for tr for the uh, session Wednesday, 21st of February, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play, Apple, Google Play, and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of stats today, then uh, this morning, uh, European markets overall in the red, except the FTSE, uh, the German DAX certainly down lower again. German DAX and European equities still suffering. Uh, certainly exacerbated this morning due to the fact that uh, uh, we've had weaker PMI readings this morning. As again, certainly indicating a weaker bias. Okay, this morning in terms of uh, economic data, uh, UK reading and uh, UK certainly turned uh, well, it was negative, but did reverse in the back of a stronger labour market. Okay, and therefore obviously that you know, forces the uh, the ECB to tone down its hawkish stance. So she said there'll be OE tone down its hawkish stance which in turn obviously uh, um, helps the uh, FTSE to a large extent and we did experience this more short squeeze whether that's uh, certainly going to last we'll certainly see in terms of Asian markets overnight um, Asian indices uh, the Nikkei finished higher Hang Seng finished higher as well uh, I was expecting the bullishness to certainly feed through especially given the fact that you had stronger earnings from Lloyd's uh, stronger earnings from Glencore as well uh, okay, that failed to really f uh, feed through. Now, it certainly seems like uh, concerns regarding the Fed certainly seem to be sent a stage, given the fact that the Fed uh, meeting or Fed minutes basically will be out later on. Um, watch out for Mr. Harker and also Mr. Carney around 2 o'clock. That will be interesting in terms of inflation hearings as well. That will be interesting. Broadbent, Haldane and Tenayero. So it certainly seems like a, um, a barrage of uh, BOE speakers certainly uh, talking. So again, Watch out for wild swings in the FTSE there. A US, you've got market and PMI, uh, again, existing home sales, and then the FOMC minutes will be, will be a, certainly will be a volatile day today, so, so watch out, folks, okay? In terms of the technical picture, let's see exactly where we are. German DAX at the moment, certainly still languishing. Daily chart remains weak, bearish for engulfing candle, bearish inside bar thus far. Okay, 60-minute chart as well. Certainly trying, attempting to build a base here around 12.350, but certainly can't. Can't move higher, especially given the fact that we've had weaker PMI readings now as well. That certainly will uh, it will be expected away. Uh, don't be surprised if you're looking to potentially retest that gap down at 12100, especially given the weaker economic data and the situation regarding the Fed as well. So watch out there. In terms of uh, the uh, French CAC, let's see. French CAC daily chart certainly has been uh, on pause ever since we got to this gap fill at 50% and 200 MA. We've certainly paused, still an inside bar thus far. No real catalyst to move higher. Uh, again, we've still failed to potentially even close that gap fill at 5.365. We're struggling at 5.300 now. The gap fill below at 5.222, and then you've got gap fill at 5.165. Certainly in place, so watch out for those gaps below. FTSE 100, 10 minute chart. Again, we were experiencing some meetings, meeting us down to 7.22. Ever since that, all employment numbers have come out, and obviously I've, uh, I've got the, uh, the actual uh, traders excited in the fact that the BOE certainly will cure, will certainly take the um, foot off the uh, pedal in terms of raising rates it certainly seems to have helped uh, sentiment and therefore you are looking at buyers certainly turning bullish at the moment so keep an eye on that let's see how that uh, unfolds okay in terms of the FTSE 60 minute chart as well at the moment you're still you've still held that uh, support 7210 okay one would expect higher highs and higher lows to continue therefore looking to test 7270 and 7300 but we shall see let's see how that unfolds as well okay in terms of euro stocks, last but not least, let's just quickly go run through that as well for you. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. So, again, euro stocks at the moment, we've rejected double top at 3,435. It looks like we want to close that gap below now at 3,390, given the weaker PMI reading. So, uh, watch, watch out for that. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Certainly download the app at the um, uh, Google app, uh, should we say Apple App Store and Google Play. And be sure to visit CFTs.com for your bonus. Goodbye now.